Hey folks, Will Brink here at www.brinkzone.com. Uh, today I want to continue on with the fish oil discussion. Uh, last video I covered a little bit of the differences between flax and fish, and I want to give some specific advice on fish oil, which I think uh, there's some confusion. Uh, a lot of people don't really understand what doses are in the fish oils. Now if you take her, it's a one gram, you know, 1,000 milligram capsule of fish oil. And people say, okay, I'm taking a thousand milligrams of fish oil, but you're not. Uh, most fish oils are about 30% of the active lipids that we were talking about, which are EPA and DHA. So within this one gram capsule, thousand milligrams, only about 300 milligrams uh, is the active lipids you're looking for, which is EPA and DHA. So you actually have to do a little math as to what you're trying to get. Uh, there's not a specific study you can look at that says this is the dose you must have. But most studies suggest uh, about a gram to 1,500 milligrams or so to get a good therapeutic dose. Uh, that's well above the minimum required dose set by uh, American Heart Association and stuff. But the studies uh, where you start to see the interesting effects in reducing inflammation, uh, even effects on depression, uh, improved blood lipids and such, these are at higher doses and they're generally going to be a gram plus. So. You take this thing, oh, I'm getting a thousand milligrams of fish oil, and you're not, and this seems to be a major mistake. Most fish oils on the market are about 30%. So to get the needed dose, let's say we're going to recommend a gram of active lipids for you, you're going to need about five of these, right? So do the math, three, six, nine, twelve, blah, blah, blah. Um, not all are 30%. If you search around, you can find higher concentration fish oil products. Some are as high. Uh, at 60%, 70%. This obviously allows you to take, um, anyway, get rid of this one. Fish oil and coffee. Anyway, uh, there are higher concentrations, you just have to look. And I give some specific brand names with their concentrations, how many you need to take, and such uh, on the Brink Zone. Uh, probably linked below this video, you can read that. Uh, but you just have to do the math and you do have to figure it out. So if you're just taking one or two uh, thousand milligram capsules that are of a 30% EPA DHA content, which is most of them, you're not getting what you need for the effects you're hoping to get on be it skin, hair, health, uh, so on and so on. Fish oils have so many benefits, it's just uh, at this point it's not even worth talking about. It's basically something just needs to be uh, in your supplement plan. And I hope you found this information interesting. If you like it, please hit the like buttons. Twitter, you know the deal. And I hope to see you all on the Brink Zone. Now, for more information on fish oils and doses and types and brands, head on over to www.brinkzone.com, where you'll find my blog, more videos, free reports on fat loss, muscle building, supplementation, fitness, health and longevity, as well as a ton of articles and my free weekly newsletter. So I hope to see you all on the Brink Zone.